Attention players. You will now compete for our biggest cash prize in reality show history. Lorenzo, so I'm a big Squid Game guy, man. Like I got my shirt. Yeah, come I on. <laughs> <laughs> I got to I love it. When you when you hear this, when you hear the Mugungwako Chi no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> PTSD. Like they played <laughs> in a club the other day. I was like, no, I beg, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> like, no. Nah. Had enough. Mugungwa kochi pia samnida. That um that was a little too accurate for my liking. Mugungwa kochi pia You're freaking me out, kill. Mugungwa kochi pia samnida. We're not traumatized at all. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Yeah, I'm Mr. Squid Game. So do you find that strategies work or there's too many variables? And no matter what kind of strategy you take, it's not going to work. Because for me, when I was watching it, I was thinking, yeah, you've got to have a strategy because you have an idea. But the variables was crazy. Yeah, that's a very good point. I think you can have a vague strategy or how you're going to act. But at the same time, as you said, there's no right strategy. Uh, I think it is more the strategy we should, should be like, you have to be sure in yourself to act accordingly to the scenario. I'm actually really happy that you brought that up too, because one of the things I'm heavy on is not having a strategy. You know, I went in with just be you, have fun. Hopefully it works out. Um, Cause if you go in, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. That's what I used that. I heard that growing up my whole entire life and red light, green light punched a lot of people in the mouth. And I'm one of those people. And I'm happy I didn't have a plan because I just, I knew what I signed up for. I got there. I was like, you know, this is a part of it. Just get through it. See how far you can make it and just have fun. I have no idea. So it, it was just all left up to chance. And, you know, it was just a lot, like you're in a room with weird people too, engaging with people. So it, it's a lot and it's very overstimulating. I expected uh, the challenges to be more physical in nature. So the only preparation I was doing was hitting the gym <laughs> for the weeks prior. Um, and then I just knew that my only strategy going into the game was going to be myself. So um, pushing myself to my own limits and trying to make as many friends as possible. How intense was red light, green light for you? Because now you're in the game. It seems super simple, but I mean, nerves, stamina. I think uh, one of the guys told me that you guys are actually there for like seven hours, like that first day or something. I expected easy. You know, I expected five minutes. Um, <laughs> I expected five minutes. And, and, and after that, you know, and I thought I could win, you know, and, and my kids, they, dad, don't lose the first challenge, you know, or don't be the first one out. A lot of pressure. And, and that, after that first song, and I stood there for, I don't know, for quite a while, I said, I can't win this. You know, <laughs> no, I, I'm that not was humbling, it. wasn't it? And, and I was hearing people's squibs go off, and I said, at least I'm not the first one. And I felt, Bad, I would let my family down. And, and then getting a little bit further, I'm thinking, I might not see the dorms. That started to bother me. That is my moment of Squid Game world, is being in those dorms and losing red light, green light. I would not see the dorms. And that even bothered me more than letting my family down. I'm right there with you, Rick. I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be, what, 30 minutes tops. I was ready to go. Confident as could be in my athletic abilities and whatnot, being a rugby player. And I thought it was hot tickets until that standing still humbled me. It was by far the hardest thing we did. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my God. $4.56 million. People do a whole lot worse for a whole lot less.